We've now got the number one globagandist coming back, rising up to the top of the scientific tables, citing an airfix model as somehow proof that the monster ball reality's got it wrong. G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, level earth observer. Dear Adam, he decided to have a go at my mate, Simon Dan. And we know, just cannot have that. Official footage. So I pose the question, is that real? Yes. Or is that just a cheap, tacky model? No. You tell me. He really is incredulous, isn't he? The irony of Dan's comment there. The fact that he defends and cites airfix models as somehow proof that demonstrable reality has got it wrong. Because he's not cited any kind of real demonstrable science. He has to actually, the globe's number one top boy, actually has to defend airfix models as proof that reality has got it wrong. Well, it seems Adam has three pillars of flat earth science. So let's have a listen to just what they are. Dan, can you cite a scientific demonstration refuting the three things of demonstrable truth I'm about to quote to you? One, it's impossible to have a vacuum next to an air pressure system without solid separation. Oh, Adam, Captain Sensible had a go at that. No, no, I'm Mr. Sensible. This is Captain Sensible. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, sorry. Mr. Sensible had a go at that. Mr. Sensible sent a balloon all the way up to 38 kilometers, and the pressure dropped from 100% at ground level to 0.02%, I want to say, from memory, way less than 1% at the time the balloon burst. So we didn't bump into any hard containment in that thing. So is it after that that there's a hard containment? So between 0.02% and 0% is where the container is. Is that what you're saying, Adam? Is that what you're really saying, Adam? Do you want to have a think about that one, Adam? I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. Two, the behaviour of water makes it impossible for water to wrap and conform to the outside of different shapes. So water, Adam. Yeah, how about that? Flat level. You're still confused by those two terms not being exactly the same thing, aren't you, mate? Well, look, here, have a look at this bit of water. Yes, look, I might be cheating because I'm looking from the International Space Station. We'll get to that one in a minute, mate. See, it's sticking to the outside of the ball. How about that? I would call that demonstrable proof. It's just a photo, after all, from space. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. Three, tower cranes, scientifically, undeniably, prove without a shadow of a doubt that the earth is not a spinning ball. Oh, Adam, cranes, tower cranes. I'm sure there's a department at MIT for tower cranes. Not. Look, mate, we've all been over with this with you a dozen times. Conservation momentum is all you need to understand, mate. Look, my brilliant example here, mate, shows you exactly all you need to know. We all have a gravity or a downforce or whatever you call it that just holds the string down towards the ground. That's what stops it flying all over the place, despite the fact that the Earth is rotating at one revolution per day. It is a rather slow rotation at that. Look, don't trust me, trust this guy doing science. See, look, he debunked this whole tower crane spinning ball thing anyway. See this brilliant example of demonstrable science? You can't really dispute this. The ball doesn't go anywhere, mate. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. They are scientifically demonstrably true and they annihilate the globe and there's no one on earth that can refute that with any kind of science and as we've just seen the globe's top boy Mr. Charisma himself the mannequin man airfix dribbler Dan has just proven all they can do as far as science is concerned is defend airfix models and cite that as somehow proof that reality has got it wrong. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> now about that ISS, 
Here is some demonstrable proof, and this is something you could actually do yourself, Adam, with your P900. Just point it at the ISS when it's going over, full zoom in, and you will get a thing that looks a little bit like the ISS. But if you're really, really good and get a proper telescope like Astronomy Live has done, then you'll be able to see this. Adam, I would call this demonstrable proof, wouldn't you? This is just a video of a thing in space floating above our heads, and we can see almost exactly the structure of it. And look, we can even see the Crew-1 capsule sitting on the side there after it docked just the other day. And of course, here's another great little find I found on Twitter. Here's the Crew capsule chasing the ISS before it docked. How about that? Oh, I reckon that was pretty magical, that one. So Adam, for all you people who don't like to think about the people inside the ISS, well, they're in there and they're working hard doing their experiments and bringing the people on, letting the people off, docking, undocking, and it seems they're even having fun trolling you guys. I just love these images. I think she's done really well.